Today I discussed the uh, new guidelines that have come out in terms of otitis media. There's been an emphasis now on using uh, observation as an initial treatment option, meaning children who do not have severe uh, signs and symptoms of ear infection who are age appropriate can be observed clinically for 48 to 72 hours. Treated with ibuprofen or with acetaminophen, Tylenol, to make sure that the pain is well controlled. And then following back up with the pediatrician who will look carefully in the ear to make sure that the infection has, has resolved. If it has not resolved, then antibiotics are important to get to help uh, reduce the infection. And those antibiotics oftentimes include first line therapy such as amoxicillin or augmentin. If that does not improve uh, the symptoms within an additional day or two, then we transition to second line antibiotics. Those include uh, antibiotics such as Omnicef or sometimes even Rocephin injections. These children are otitis media prone uh, for a host of reasons. Uh, these children have immune systems that are not fully developed and mature. Uh, they also have uh, increased uh, uh, eustachian tube dysfunction, uh, which can result in sometimes in, uh, pathogens traveling from the nasopharynx into the middle ear space. Uh, the age is very important because children under the age of six months should be treated more aggressively with antibiotics. The observation is not uh, usually indicated. Children who are also very medically fragile or complex should be treated with antibiotics. But healthy children, you know, usually children over the age of uh, a year to around two years, can be observed uh, to see if uh, they uh, 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 respond with just watchful waiting. If they have severe signs and symptoms of antibiotics, are very important to administer.